Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7-10! and 10. Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the left. She's got it! Oh, what a play! <laughs> Call the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give them the gold glove right now. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it. Going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That's a comfort, too. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. Time for baseball on the show from the bank. Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Aaron Nola is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, looking at his numbers, he's got three times the strikeouts to walks. So and what that tells me, that's very good. He's going to dominate hitters. His stuff is electric. And if he continues to keep guys off balance and not walk hitters, he'll continue to have a successful season. We'll see if he's able to execute that game plan in this game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. And that one misses as well, so it's a poor start here this afternoon as it's a four-pitch walk to get things going. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Kendrick ranging back at the track. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for him if they want to split this series, HR? Matt, this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out. They're going to come at you running. They're going to run to first if they walk. They're going to steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. The 2 1 pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. The 2 2 now to right. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Herrera's there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Ready now, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home.
He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. One and two, here it comes. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him. A base hit. Reyes rounds third and is digging for the plate. And Hannigan's tag won't come in time. He's safe at home plate. Well, with two away, the man on first, he was moving on contact. He got a great jump and comes all the way around to score on that double. Always nice to snag the early lead, and they've done it here. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Two out here and a runner at second. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Set. Here's the 3 1. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. You know he wants to end this inning right here on 3 and 2, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. Home half of the first on its way from Citizen Bank Park. And the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. Takes this the other way to right. Conforto is there and he has it for the out. With that, a look at the Phillies exactly. batting order in this one. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, you realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Now to the plate, Michael Franco. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. Mine to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Back to back line drives. Now, the first guy was out, but man, they're swinging the bat Having pretty third. good. These two guys saw him pretty Gilbert. good. Let's see what happens now. Herrera. Into the box, Odubel Herrera. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball. Five and two over their last seven. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Well, Matt, clearly that was a hit and run. The runner was off on the swing, and he drives the ball so hard in the outfield, they couldn't advance it. Into the box now, Tommy Joseph. 
In there at the letters, one and two now. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. Ball two. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Tried to backdoor him and locked him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. So he sets him down swinging. Tommy Joseph becomes out number two this inning. Here's Michael Saunders now. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Line toward center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Mets one and the Phillies nothing. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he didn't pull the trigger on a good low sinker, but it missed for ball three. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. This is popped up. Franco is there for it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. All right, here's how the Phillies line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking in the outfield, Odubel Herrera. When the Phillies were turning things around and turning that organization upside down, bringing up young talent, he was the first guy. Won batting titles in the minor leagues and really got off to a good start in the big leagues as well. In now, Rene Rivera. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. We're in the second, 1 0 Mets early on. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's one and two. The one and two pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. In now, Juan Ligares. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. At the plate, Howie Kendrick. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard to the right side. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Another payoff pitch. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. For the shortstop, Reyes. Scooped up. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Michael Conforto. He's had to learn how to play on the corners. He was a center fielder in college, but now playing on the corners, he's had to learn all the angles. But it looked like he caught on quick. Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
Looks at a curveball called for a strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Ryan Hannigan. Stepping in, Ryan Hannigan. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. One and two, here it comes. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. The eight hitter gets a base hit. You know how important that is? Now the pitcher has to hit in this inning, and he doesn't lead off next inning, possibly clogging the bases or starting the inning with basically one out. That's a big hit. Standing in now, Aaron Nola. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hit toward the right side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They still trail 1-0. The city's founder, William Penn, seen there at Top City Hall here in Philadelphia as we welcome you back to baseball on the show. Now in the box, Stephen Matz, 9-1-2 due up. One and one, here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. And he lays off again, ball three. There's Jose Reyes, he waits on deck. Hitters count all the way, here it comes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Kendrick moves over, one down. And with one away, we check out where these guys sit from the current division standings, and it's not all that pretty as they face a sizable deficit at this point in the season. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Two and one now to Reyes. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And my goodness, that nearly got him as he had to back away from it. It's ball three. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch, considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him, from what I could tell. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Heading for second is Reyes. And he'll reach second now with one away. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. The third baseman, number five. David Wright digging in to try it again. David Wright, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. A runner on first with two away. Runner goes for second. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. Pitch inside the throw. Got him. 
And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Mets go down quickly. They lead it one to nothing. Riding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Wow, he's got to be frustrated with Third that pitch. Did a nice job seven. of getting ahead of the hitter. Wanted to go to change up to put him away. And just hung it up there a little bit too long. Ready with the one and one. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. From the stretch. That misses and we're even at two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box now, Odubel Herrera, and he chased it in the dirt. Rivera recovers, but the throw is not in time. Herrera reaches on the strikeout, so good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Hit hard down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Pereira is on his way home, and a relay home. Throw won't get him. Man, if I was on the mound, I would not let this guy hurt me. He's been carrying the cover off the ball the entire series, and he drives two more in right here. He is definitely a man on a mission, and he's making a huge impact. In now, Michael Saunders. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. One out and a runner on second base. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. This one's flared out toward left. Nimmo will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Now about it. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Howie Kendrick. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Working for the punch out and the offering. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Popped into the air, back behind second. And here's Flores to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Phillies two and the Mets one. Striding into the box, David Wright comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Called strike two. The 2-2 two -two now to right. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Another 2-2 two -two offering. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. 
it's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that base hit high and deep out to left field but he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down good contact to start out hitting thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long just unlucky that time into the box Michael Conforto fastball is looked at for strike two might have been taking all the way right there that pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate now a ball line fouled a deep right and out of play fourth inning of a two to one ball game hit to third throw gets him two down no batter, and so four. after getting the ground Second ball with the fastball on no that matter. last pitch Mark. that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 is the top speeds ready on three and one here's the pitch and this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here it's a five pitch walk. The left field and here's the nine. former first round draft Brandon choice Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Have a nice flight home, man. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Aye. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Met strand one. Our score remains two to one. Settling in now, Andres Blanco, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is lined into right field, and he's aboard here with the leadoff single. Digging in for his second at bat, Ryan Hennigan, a base hit in his first trip. From the stretch. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores has it. Reyes on to first, a double play. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Standing in now, Aaron Nola. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. Set to deal on two and two. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Two runs, six hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it, Conforto makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. The Phillies go down quietly there. They still lead it two to one. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The center field number 20. Here's Juan Ligares. Juan Comes into this Ligares. at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. 
Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. To his left, Hernandez. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. Into the box, Steven Matz. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fastball called strike, one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They still trail it here, two to one. Digging in and looking for more, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Full count, here it comes. Ground ball left side. Throw by right is in time for out number one. Third baseman number Ready two. once again, Mike Del Franco. One for two on his line so far in the game. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw in time at first for out number two. Up next for Philadelphia. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's one for two in the ball game. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Phillies down in order. They lead it two to one. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Here's the one and one delivery. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Oh, he hung him one right there. Curveball right down the middle. Those balls go a long way. He must have been looking for something else. Grounder down the line at third. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. That was an impressive single, but more impressive was the play of the left fielder. He cut the ball off, the got it back in, five. and they keep the Big double play point. in order, giving that pitcher a chance to get out of this inning. Hey now, turn two here. Stepping in now, David Wright. And that swung on and fouled straight back. A one two pitch and he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right Hernandez ranges back and he has it for out number two ready for another well, chance another Michael Conforto Michael one for two with a double on his line thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that misses 2-1. and one. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Soft liner to the right side, and no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. Mets leave one. They're down 2 1. <laughs> A 
digging in and looking for more. Tommy Joseph, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here's the one and one pitch. No contact there, and it's one and two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. Ligaris will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Right fielder. Here's Michael Saunders Michael. now. 0 for 2 here Under. to start the afternoon. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Left fielder. Digging Howie. in once again. Kendrick. Howie Kendrick 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Seventh inning coming up. Phillies on top, two to one. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first You're six innings so far. Now, Jenmar Gomez is on number to pitch 46. from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Digging in to try it again, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Ready for another shot now. Brandon Nimmo comes in 0 for 2 thus far. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two to second for one? On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. Rivera. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you could definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. In now, Rene Rivera. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Herrera. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Nothing it's doing for the, the Metropolitans. Our split. score remains two to one. Ready once again, Andres Blanco. A hit in two tries so far. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Well, no surprise, another single to lead off the inning here late in the game, but they haven't had a lot of runs. They've got a lot of hits today, but they haven't been able to put things together. I guess I give a little credit to the pitching staff not allowing consecutive hits to hurt them. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Into the box, Ryan Hennigan. And he puts it on the ground to second. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Freddie Galvis will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 13, Freddie Galvis.
And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. The second for one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Coming on as a pinch hitter is a tough, tough spot to be in, but that's Second the last basement. thing you want to do when your Baseball. skipper calls on you. Not going to be happy about that. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's now 3-1. to one. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. Well, that base hit right there gives him two third run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, Franco. you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. Line drive to center field. Ligaris is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bills get just one despite this RBI triple. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now three to one, Philly. Your attention, please. Now Called to the bullpen the here is the hard-throwing right-hander Joaquin Benoit gets the assignment. Benoit. Here's Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. And now a pitch on the way. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Well, they're still in this game. You know, if they can get somebody on, a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But they've got to start with getting somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. A Google Cabrera will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 13 has Dribble Cabrera. On the ground to the left side. On to first, and Cabrera is a ground out victim. Two away. Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one, our score. And he takes a cold strike, too. The pitch. Hit out towards second. Hernandez is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the Phillies three and the Mets one. Josh Edgen. It's on to pitch out of the, the bullpen match. in the bottom Number half of 66. the eighth. Josh Edgen. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Odubel Herrera. He was a ground out victim last time up. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try again, one, two. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Boy, that's really First disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, 
can't get on first base if you strike out. Into the box now, Tommy Joseph. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Sliced hard on the ground, taken in by Flores. Pro gets him, two down. The right fielder, number five. Coming to the plate now, Michael, Michael Saunders. Under. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Three runs, nine hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, as the lead remains three to one. Pat Nisha takes the ball now in now inning number nine, looking to close the number door. 17, Pat Nisha. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Here he comes again, one-two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best the ones have that late action five. that just starts at the last five. minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, David Wright. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike, one and two. One out, nobody on. On the ground, up the middle, backhanded. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. The right infield single, as innocent as it may sound, Michael that might be a rally Conforto. starter right there. Settling in now, Michael Conforto. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called the strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. This is on the ground over to first. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Another hit right there. Man, he is having a big series right here on the road. He's having some kind of impact on this series. The way he's collecting base hits. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Back in standing. And the runner's breaking for third. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. There's one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Hey, there was no reason to panic. He gave up a hit, but he comes right back and gets a double play to end this thing. Great resiliency right there to secure the save and the victory for the team. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. Aaron Nola earned his ninth win of the year. Steven Matz is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs.
Pat Meshack burns the save out of the bullpen is 21st of the year. So that's it for us this afternoon for Harold Reynolds Dan Fleasak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more log on to the show nation dot com. Our final line score this afternoon first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies three runs on nine hits no errors. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play.